we still got issues. So here's what we're gonna do. As you can see over here, I went and bought myself a press because I've been needing one anyway and I always have to go over to Joe Nate's house to use a press for gears and things like that. What are we gonna do? Change gears out in the car because I don't know if it's a pinion issue, I don't know if it's a transmission issue, but I think the right move here is to go ahead and put a set of 410s in the car, which is what I wanted to do anyway. This cam does not like 373s. We're gonna put 410s in it and see if that doesn't fix the problem. It's something I wanted to do anyway, so it really makes sense. It is what it is, y'all. We're gonna learn something from this. Jan, you brought some goodies, didn't you? Yes, sir. What we got over here? Oh, 410s. We got some 410s. I already told them what we're doing. So John showed up with the gears, and like I said, we got the press. So right now we're pressing on the pinion. I wish I would've known that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I forgot we were recording. Like I said, I'm not gonna record all of this. We're just gonna go ahead and stick these gears in the car and see if it fixes it. Everything's done. Uh, we got the gears in. Everything's bolted up. There's fluid in the rear end. We're gonna go ahead and drive this thing tonight. See if it fixes the problem. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think it's gonna fix the problem. If it does, it'll surprise me. But either way, now we will know for sure whether it's a transmission problem or not.
that didn't fix the problem. Still doing it, as you can hear on the video. I would have liked for this to fix the problem, but since it didn't, it's all good. All right, well, uh, I'm going to look under the car and make sure that there's nothing binding or, or causing any problems. But guys, it, it sounds like an input shaft or a main shaft or something. There's slack in it, and it, it's kind of doing this. So whatever it is, it's all good. The car's drivable, and we are going to drive this car, so don't, don't sweat it. I couldn't really tell if the gears helped a lot. I could ease of driving, absolutely. So the gears did help the car as far as driving. Oh, so much better. So much better. This clutch and these gears, perfect. I want to remind you, you're not alone. I know people are struggling. You're out there. You want to give up on shit. Money's not there. Time's not there. Um, maybe you don't have the skill set or you think you don't have the skill set to do some of the stuff that we do on this channel but I'm here to tell you that you can do it because I was one of those guys with no skill set and I just taught myself that's it YouTube YouTube guys I'm um, now I put my own gears in there's pretty much nothing that that we don't do except for transmission work I don't do that I got faith in you guys I know you can do it get out there do your thing and as always thanks for watching so here's how we're going to do the next portion of this video. I'm going to take you for a quick ride along in the car where I stuck a GoPro underneath it and show you just how much the rear end is wrapping up. I will tell you that the pinion angle has been set at ride height, static position. Uh, I think it was 3.8 down on the transmission and 2.2 or so up on the pinion. So in theory, that should be good, but I think we're getting too much axle wrap. You got to remember these are aftermarket leaf springs and everything else. So for those of you who said, hey man, check your pinion angle, and I kind of argued against it, you may be right, honestly. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and skip that portion of the video. Watch that after this portion of the video, though. I want you to hang around and finish it out because I think you're going to love my reaction to this power valve swap that I do at the end of this video. I just wanted to add to the video that uh, it's the next day. This is after we put the gears in and I'm gonna change the power valve out in this car. I did not realize that this thing has an 8.5 power valve in it. This was an 8.5, I'm gonna put a 2.5 in it and this car pulls around eight inches of vacuum when you're cruising around. Um, at idle, it's about four and a half. So we're already in the power valve already. So we're gonna go to a 2.5 and see what happens. It may be a little extreme, but it's either that or we just block it off completely, which may be the best option. Give you a little bit of a sneak peek as to what's coming for the 65. These are all the parts that I've ordered. Here's the regulator setup I was telling you guys about right here. It's a really cheap regulator setup. If you're wondering why I'm even bothering to do this, it's because the car has a um, off idle kind of stumble, like cruising speed. So if you're just cruising along in this car and you go to like roll into the just tap, just dip into the throttle, it wants to have a little hesitation. So I'm thinking this is probably gonna clear it up.
All right, I'm going to have to do a little voice over here for you. Sorry, I'm still learning some of my new cameras that I've got. And the one that I'm using here is extremely sensitive to wind noise. So basically, I'm just giddy over this. I'm loving the clutch. Uh, the car takes off so much easier than what it did before. It drives better. Seems to have more instantaneous power. Like everything is basically top notch, exactly how I wanted this car to be. So I'm going to drive it around for a little while and just gush over it. And then we're going to get back and then you're going to hear my thoughts. <laughs> Fellas, I just got to, I got to give you my honest reaction after driving this car. That was the move completely changed this car between those gears and this power valve that was the biggest change yet to this car it is freaking amazing how much of a difference it made y'all i'm tickled to death you know we talk about it all the time sometimes it's the little things a little gear change and a power valve made this car work with the camshaft essentially but made it so much more fun to drive holy shit i can't believe it you know it just wasn't quite there up until this moment i mean it was good you could drive it around and i was enjoying it but this is it i'm so damn excited i hope you guys are excited for me because i, I can't honestly contain myself but uh yeah man this is what it's all about right here i got my gray ghost back this is how i remember driving around no worries carefree just go here we are god yes she's officially a grocery getter now i love it catch you guys in the next one and as always thanks for watching Man, I've laughed and cried and cussed Covered in grease, covered in dust Fought the heat and fought the rust Had this dream since I was 16 But life gets in the way it seems Some dreams, they get done Something about that 65, that 289, and those body lines, yeah. Has my heart and it won't let go. Through the years, cars come and go, but this one here, she has my soul. So much time, so much pride, memories between my dad and I, yeah. Where did the years go? Long nights, family and friends, sometimes I thought it would never end, but that's just how it goes. Gray goes. goes Something about that 65, that 289 Those body lines, yeah Have my heart and it won't let go Through the years, cars come and go But this one here, she has my soul singing Hey Gray goes Donuts and four-way stops I ran half the town including the cops, yeah I hope I made my old man proud Full of prime and pain and rust They mean much to you Old girl, she meant the world to us Something about that 65, that 289 Those body lines, yeah has my heart and it won't let go Through the years, cars come and go But this one here, 
she has my soul Gray goes Shined up for a hot day, yeah Tuned up for Bethel's race Spinning tires, raising hill, you're nowhere Ten pounds 